Welcome back to another episode of the Cricket Commentary Commonwealth. I want to start off by saying I know there's been a gap between my last video and this video and I video and I haven't done any review of the fourth test between Australia and India that happened at the Gabba. Um, so I just want to start off by going over that a little bit. Um, so going into the game, I was really confident that Australia would either win the game or draw the game because they hadn't, they haven't lost a match, the, up until most recently, up until just then, they hadn't lost a match at the Gabba since 1988. So I was really confident. Um, and then in terms of uh, why I think Australia lost, I, I don't think they played badly at all. In the first innings, they scored 370 runs. Uh, and in the second innings, they scored 300 runs. And then in India's first innings, they scored 340 runs. And in, and in the second innings, they scored 330 runs. And India just managed to score more runs than Australia and not get bowled out um, towards the end of towards the end of day five. So it was a close game. You know, it, it could have been a draw. But um, uh, Australia didn't really do anything wrong because they had to... They had to um, try and score runs quickly in their second innings uh, to try and set themselves up in a position where they could win the game. Because if they do the game, then India would retain the Border Gavaskar Trophy. So they could. They only scored. Th they scored three hundred runs in the second innings. If they had batted more carefully, for instance, Steve Smith scored fifty-five off seventy-four balls. If he had tried to. Um, make his innings longer and more drawn out. They could have batted maybe uh, to early on in day five, and then India would have, and then it would have been a draw. But then India would have retained the trophy. So they they tried to score runs quickly in the second innings. India batted for a little bit at the end of day four and all of day five. But I think really India were just too good. They scored. You know they scored. They scored too quickly. Shubman Gill, ninety-one off hundred fifty balls. Chiteshwar Pujara batted really slowly, but he he was the rock in the innings, and he everyone batted around him, and he really held the innings uh, all together. Uh, Ajinkya Rahane did okay, but then Rishabh Pant, you know, played you know a magnificent eighty-nine not out, and he saw India over the line. So India deserved to win. They scored more quickly. They always managed to stay in the game. If Australia scored runs, they matched it in their innings and they scored quickly and were just, yeah, they just looked more composed as a team. And they always looked like they could bounce back if they ever uh, fell a few steps behind in the game. Just before we move on, I want to point out, uh, I was really impressed with... Um, Washington Sunda and Shardul uh, Takur's uh, performance in the game. In the, they're both uh, lower order batsmen, but in the first innings, they both scored 60-odd. And I think that really speaks to the gulf between the Australian team and the Indian team. You know, Australia's number five, Australia's opening batsmen and, number, and middle order batsmen, apart from Manus Labuschagne, and Steve Smith sometimes that none of them can even get to 50, but India's tail enders are scoring 50s. It just is an incredible gulf between the two teams. There's a really good article in the Times of India where um, that I recommend you go and look at. Uh, it's titled Young Australian Cricketers Still in Primary School Compared to Indian Counterparts. And that was said by Greg Chappell. And it just, he's talking about the gulf between the two countries in terms of cricket but not just in the performance, but in the in the grassroots level and how India really sustains that depth um, of cricketing quality in their players. So it's a good read. I recommend uh, definitely going over the article and having a look at that. Um, so, yeah, there's my uh, take on the last test match between Australia and India. Just... Uh, in terms of what's going to be coming up with my channel, I'll be uh, I'll be looking at the Australia versus New Zealand um, twenty twenty matches that start 
um, that stud in a little, that stud in a while. Um, oh, I might be reviewing a bit of the Big Bash if I get time. Um, and I'll also be doing, uh, I'll also, over the next little while, be rolling out, um, videos like my favorite wickets of the summer, favorite, um, catches of the summer, things like that. And yeah, just before, one last thing before we end the video, uh, if you're interested in, obviously I have this great collection of cricket books behind me. I love reading cricket books. I've, and I've read a lot of them, as you can see. Uh, and if it, I just wanted to gauge if there's any interest in me reviewing cricket books or giving recommendations and talking about them, comment down below uh, if there's any interest in that. If there's not, don't worry about it, but I'm just trying to see uh, gauge interest uh, to see if people would be uh, interested in that. Thank you.